we sailed on the Disney Fantasy cruise ship for the very first Pixar Day at Sea sailing. Join us in this two hour long video as we set sail on the Disney Fantasy. You're gonna see Pixar themed events, all your favorite Pixar characters from Toy Story to The Incredibles to Monsters Inc. and many, many more. This video is our full seven day experience and it was epic. So come along with us. Disney lovers, you are really gonna love this one. Locked and loaded. Locked and loaded, leaving the Disney Boardwalk Hotel. And we're getting on the bus to go over to the cruise ports. The cruise summer, which is Port Canaveral, if you guys did not know. Which is 40 minutes outside yeah. of Orlando. It's a good, it's a good little ride. It's a good little 45 minute ride. Mm -hmm. Traffic, it could take you an hour. Yeah. So if you're driving or leaving or however you're doing it, make sure you plan accordingly if you're cutting it close. Alrighty, so we just got off of the charter bus. Right. You are going to drop your bag off in the baggage drop off area. Even if you're driving into the port, as you can see, these are people that are driving. You drive up, you drop your bags off with a porter. Your luggage should be labeled with the labels that come in the mail, i.e. that comes to your house. Disney has class on me. <laughs> so you just, yeah, you just drop off and then you head on in. Well, you may have to park your car. If you get off a bus, you head on into the terminal yes. and, and you get on board. And not to worry, if you do forget the luggage tags at home, they, the porters do have yeah. extra. And always give your porter a tip because uh, they are working very hard. So here we go inside i can't record from here so i guess the next part you'll see is yeah. us getting on the ship it's never recording of security that's the reason you've never seen those videos all right what are we doing we're getting on a disney fantasy it's that time it's that time ramp life yes soon to be cruise life exactly. the best the best, the best. All the way to Yo, Folgers, Folgers is gonna come for you. I know Folgers is gonna come for me. With a with a sponsorship that is. Come on, Folgers. Oh, McMouse. It's the captain, guys. All right, guys. First time aboard the Disney Fantasy. Disney Fantasy, please welcome aboard the Park Family. If you don't know us, guys, we are so hyped every time we get on a new ship. Yes. And we are extra hyped today. Extra hyped. Like, we try not to repeat any ships if we can. And when we do, we still hype, but this? But this is extra hype, like. Oh, man. I've been wanting to get on this ship for a long, 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 long time. So we are here, I'm excited. I can't wait to create content for you guys. She's welcome aboard, Robin. Shut up, Robin. Shut up, Robin. So, Disney has the best introduction on any cruise ship. They are untouchable when it comes to the introduction. You hear how they introduce families? It's, it's unmatched. You're welcome. Right. So first impression guys, let's look around. Let's see what it's looking like. Chandelier is crazy. Decor is looking elegant, classy, luxury. All that. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. And Pluto is up there to greet you. Yes. Happy to be here. Yay. What is that? That's a nice dessert. Cool. All right, guys, so we are all checked in. We are on board, and the first stop is we actually have a media event. We're gonna do that first. It's a private function, which we like. We love private functions. Yes. We love them. Yes, a welcome, and it's supposed to be a ship tour after this, so we're yeah. excited for that. Ooh, and cool. they have hooked it up again. Disney always rolls out the red carpet, so you've got cocktails, mocktails, desserts. They've got characters here already, so the girls are lucky enough to be able to go see characters as soon as they got on board. They got signatures as soon as we got on board. So if you're a Disney fan, you know that autographs are a thing. So the girls got their autograph, their first autograph in the book. Dorman knows how to have a signature? 
What? <laughs> Alright, and we are here. 10 We made it, guys. Let's go, go ahead, Rain. Rain. Where's the keys? The keys. Hook it up, hook it up. For you. At least this one, this time they didn't have the wrong name. What? Oh. It's, you know. Long story. We're a little traumatized, guys. Past experiences, not on yeah. Disney. Just tap it on the thing and turn. Pull down, push. <laughs> what are we thinking? What are we thinking? That's the right reaction. Oh. <gasps> Whoa, they brought food! What? They brought food! Presents already? They brought food! Well, it looks like a cartouchery board. What? What? Yo. Oh. Yeah. What? Yeah, and, and this is the point of the video no. that, again, I say thank no. you so much to Disney Parks and Disney Cruise Line for hosting us. Look at this! Look at me. Wait, where are you going? You just exited. Like I didn't turn the light on. It's a little dark oh, in goodness. here. What? Gifts? Wait, 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 wait. This is mine. Well, because we're silver, we get those. Oh. Nope, nope. That's a nice sling bag. That looks like a, a, a camera bag. All right, guys, so we are just dropping off and we're going to run out because Cabana's, which is the buffet, is going to be closed in a little bit and we have to grab a bite because then you have that weird period where there's not a lot to eat, so... You want to get something to eat when you get on. All right, and that's the face of disappointment because we're here 10 minutes after they close. We'll see you next week. I know. Anything left? Yo, grab it. They're going to toss that out. Grab it, yo. This announcement. The general alarm will be sounded. Guys, so Disney Cruise Line has brought back the pre-pandemic muster drill. So we do line up outside at our muster station. We get scanned in. And we get everybody gets it done at the same time, and then we move on with our life, and we have the best week ever. On 11, you can get all your quick bites. You get pizza, burgers, hot dogs, um, bratwurst. Oh, they got bratwurst here? Yeah, they do. Oh, I sure got that. Okay. So, yeah, these are your options when the buffet is closed. This is that in between period. This is where you come to eat. is messing with the Disney horns. They literally play songs. It is the only cruise line that plays a song on their horn. Give them that credit? Yeah, they can. Yeah? They own that. Now any other cruise line that comes out with that, everyone's gonna look at you like. <laughs> I think that princess may play love theme song. Really? I think so. I didn't know that. Yeah. But I think Time for room tour, guys. Hello, welcome. Oh, wow. Thank you, guys. I mean, girl. <laughs> so, guys, I'm going to make this room tour as quick as I can. If you want to see a full room tour, you can check out Rain and Royce's channel, Life of R&R. &R. We got too. So here's what we got. Disney is great because you got two bathrooms. Who doesn't love? A split bathroom, should I say. I know, right? First one we have here is with the toilet and the sink. Okay, that's what that looks like. 
Then, while someone's on the bowl, you got a head to toe mirror. That's always good. Check your outfit. Outfit check. Outfit check. Pixar! I see what you did there. So, then on this one, we've got a sink. So, two people can brush their teeth at the same time. Then we got a shower here with a tub. Tubs are great, especially for kids. Yep. So, definitely great. Yes. Towels. Gotta love Disney. They put their logo on everything. There's Mickey ears everywhere. Mickey ears everywhere. Yes. Okay. We got a closet here. What's in there? Laundry basket. Uh -huh. uh, space for your clothes, all that kind of stuff. All right. Um, Let's see. Another closet. Yeah, this some. one's just more a couple shelves. We got the robes and some slippers. Some, some slippers. Ooh. All right, we like that. We've got a lot of luggage, so this that's corner not included. you won't be able. That's definitely not included. <laughs> so, a couple drawers here, a oh, couple shelves here, connecting room if you need to, bed, beautiful wife on the bed, also not included. We have a picture of. Four of the five okay. Disney ships. Can I say it? Okay. The Disney Magic, the Disney World, the, the Disney Dream. Wonder, Dream, and the Disney Fantasy. Fantasy. That Which one's missing? Out. Which one's missing? Go. The, um, the ah, Disney Wish. Ah. Have you been on there? Yes. Ah. Okay. We, we was invited. Ooh. Go check out that vlog. Yes. Right now it's going to be right here. Wow. That's expert level YouTubing right there. That is expert level YouTubing. That's exactly why I need that curtain. Speaking of the curtain, the curtain is great, guys, because sometimes you need to close your kids out because some of the kids talk too much. Ayo, so, ayo. Just a, so, we've got a TV. It's not very large. It's not very large at all. Okay, so, we might need this, so goodbye. It swivels, which is good. You can have the kids watch. You can watch your decision. No, no. it's on the kids' side. Uh huh. Disney has always, pretty much all the ships have great um, desk area, right? We got some You've got a chair with a back, good for working or doing your makeup, your call. Disney has hooked us up. Um, some of it is because of um, sailing on Disney before. The more you sail with Disney, the more gifts they leave you. So you can obtain Disney merchandise just by if you know you keep sailing. So that's one way to do it. Uh, okay, one excuse. I love how Disney put on a little packet. Oh, they made it feel like, you know, it's nice and clean, right? Because they wrapped it. Yeah. Saran wrap. The Castaway Club. Castaway Club. That's right. Yes. Oh, so when you guys, um, after you go on your first sailing of Disney, you're then part of something called the Castaway Club, in which we are a part of, and we're silver. And, because this, this is our third Second Disney cruise, course. you become silver. Yes. Silver. Six cruise, I think you become oh, platinum. Oh. I think no, you become five. Gold. Four, gold. Platinum, Gold, emerald, and then ruby, <laughs> bronze. And then ten, you could become platinum. I yes. think. We're gonna uh, give you more information on the correct, <laughs> correct tiers there, guys. But I think that is the right tier. Since she made me pull the, the and you get a sling bag on every single one of your sailings. Really? For while you're while you're silver, guys. So, yeah, a lot of people have little jokes like, can, "I can't wait to collect another sling bag." Well, let me tell you, I <laughs> am a YouTuber, and I have no sling bags. And I will tell you, this makes a great camera bag. We right. would have gotten it on our second sailing, but that was a, s a special sailing, so we got really fancy. Oh, we didn't get prizes. Oh, we get sling bag. Nice we got a gifts. duffel. Yeah, we got a <laughs> duffel. It was really, really nice. Yeah. On the wish, so we're grateful for the sling bag. Look at this. Yes. Can you come like this? Yeah, yeah, that's nice. All right, back to the room tour. Focus, guys. So focus, focus. We've got. Um, a nice lamp which shows you where the ships are. It shows you where Disney World is, Disneyland. If you don't know and you're trying to figure out where to go, I'm not sure how many times I could turn this thing around before it falls off, but yeah. it's very detailed. Where all the parks are, yep, and right? all the ships. That is nice. It's, this does not have the wish on it, so no! right. it is just. We remember this ship is older than. It the was wish. built before the wish. Phone is next to the bed. Makes a lot of sense. Don't you hate, hate, hate? And the, kid up. When the phone is over here, right. and you're sleeping over there, yeah, and it rings, and, okay, and it's like, like this. guest services telling like you something. Like this. Yeah. This is like this is. She's about to give us a very long example, so we'll skip that. Anyway, oh. so over here they left us a cartouchery board. If you don't know what's in it, they do leave you a list so you know exactly what's in it. They left us some prosecco. 
put put the glasses. We appreciate that. More room. More shelving. Special more shelving. Glasses, more shelving. More well, that. Here is where the fridge is. If you're new to cruising, there's no microwaves. Don't go looking for it. Uh -huh. This is where. This I is a couch. Bunk, yes. No, it's a bunk bed too. And it's a bunk bed. And you guys How do we will know? see that later on in the vlog. This pulls. Do not attempt to pull this down. You will hurt yourself. Right. Leave that for your room I know, steward. I know what's on the wall up there. I really love what Disney do up there. Do yeah. you know that on Disney, they don't call them room stewards. They're called stateroom host. The stateroom host will handle that. <laughs> or hostess. Or hostess. How do you know? Because I'm expert level, darling. Expert level on Disney. Mm -hmm. So, we got some pictures there on the wall. Some lamps. The lamps will come in handy more so when the bunk is in action. I think, I think the bottom bunk will... Maybe be able to operate the lamp. Yep, mm -hmm. that's right. I think there's more lamps when you pull it up. Maybe, mm -hmm. maybe they turn off. True, true, true. We got a table. And that goes with that. Um, by the way, on the side of the bed, both sides have a little drawer. Keep your little stuff in there. Um, I don't see any USBs. Remember, oh. again, this is not a brand new ship. However, over here, they do have the USBs and your other plugs here. Hair dryer, it's a mat to protect you from burning their furniture. Okay. Yeah. Yes. And last but not least, it's a balcony, or should I say a veranda per Disney terms. So don't worry about the camera over there. Parents, parents are always worried um, about safety. Safety is here for the children. So if you have young ones well, and you're worried about it. To Disney oh. Fantasy, this is Trent, your cruise director, once again welcoming you all aboard. I'd like to welcome back all of our Castaway Club members and a big welcome home to all of our Disney Vacation Club members as well. So, just for context guys, Rain is going to be seven years old next month and she just pretty much learned how to open these um, balcony cabins. Wait, did? So again, for the parents, on top of the safety, a lot of the doors, like the balcony door or the door that you enter the stateroom on, the doors are so heavy that little children have it, it's difficult for them to even open it. So that's another level of safety. And you might not understand why that's important, but you will one day. Oh, yeah. So this is our veranda. It comes with two chairs and a table. I'm recording a video right now, so you won't see that. And you've got the view. We have just pulled out of Port Canaveral. So Beautiful. day one of you mean, the best week ever. You mean, you mean, you mean second day of Disney, of doing all the Disney stuff. Yes, but this is day one of the Disney no. fantasy. Yeah. All right, guys, so we are here with Miss Ioni. This is our stateroom hostess. From Jamaica. From Jamaica. Yeah. Shout out to Jamaica. <laughs> and she is going to show us what we just talked about, how this couch so turns bed. into, into bed. yes so watch she gonna make it look easy watch 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 right. boom you got one flip it over and you then you got the kids bed right here mm -hmm. and the next one is the bunk bed right so this one comes from the ceiling like the kids said this is the magic this key. is our this magical key to open uh -huh. it. This is a magical key. Mm -hmm. So it goes down. Okay. And then you have this twinkle stars inside the ceiling. Oh, yeah. Yes. They have their personal light. You can turn yeah. it on. Oh, There's okay. Yeah. There we go. Right. It's, it's read read something at night. Yeah. <laughs> and then we get the bus back ladder too. Yep, look at that. Yes. You see, when the kids lay here, they turn their little light lamp on. The star. You see Peter Pan? Yeah. Where? He's right there. Oh, look, Tinkerbell. Yeah. Peter Pan. Peter Pan. Yeah. And the girl. And the girl. This is a ladder. And then, you want to come on the ladder? Show us how it's done, Rain. Look at right. that. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Thank you, Miss Ioni. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys. So it is now 5.50 p.m. If you are a person that definitely wants to make it to the show, tonight is the magic show. They have scheduled the shows opposite your dining time. So we have late dining, which is 8 something p.m. 
so they have the show as 615 is what we if we want to catch the show and then you'll make it to dining you can do the opposite if you eat at six something then you eat at 615 and then your show would be at 815 so that's how the main show in the theater is set up so you everyone has the opportunity to catch it Tonight's a magic show, and we've seen plenty of magic shows, and the girls are just not huge fans of magic shows. Yeah. So we are going to catch up on a little bit of rest. We are going to relax. Remember, it is your vacation, so you do yes. it in any way you choose. And if kids are getting in your way, you're on Disney Cruise. Put them in a kids' camp. Mm -hmm. Yay! See what I'm saying? They yeah. actually... So yeah. just so you know, the parents, the kids love going to the kids' camp. Most kids. Sometimes... Yeah. It takes a little adjusting too, but it when they do like it, they like it. So sometimes you got to put them in there and take a nap, you know. But um, but but we're all tired, so we all need a nap. Oh, we all Boys. need a nap. Okay, what just happened? <laughs> so we will see you in time for dinner, which is going to be a few hours for us, and for you, it's going to happen in a few seconds. All right, and tonight. Dinner is in Animator's Palette. How's the menu looking? The menu is looking great. I really like, well, first of all, the menu itself is looking Let's great. Let's start with that. <laughs> Move it. Can you guys see that the menu is an animated Mickey? Super cute. He moves. Very creative. Isn't that cool? I'm all for the creativity. The name's Crush. I'll send a laugh. Oh, dude! Oh, that land! Check it out! Me and my fishing family were in town on the main cruise and a big old balloon and saw you dudes doing the same! So here at Animator's Palette, the turtle comes out and it's very interactive. Let's gently draw it out! And they act. And they actually speak to the live audience here, like live. It's. It's very cool. You dudes are totally awesome! Yeah. Excellent Gooby dudes, put your bits together for all the newest members of the awesome club. So, our appetizers have arrived. So I got the black truffle pasta per se. Oh my gosh, you're so cute the way that they are. Per se. Okay, let daddy take. What's the giving? <laughs> Yo, everybody who has it be like, oh my god, so good. No. Uh, it's not giving you now? Not mind blowing. Good. Would I crave it? No. No, nah, this is my girl. Yeah. Right. Excellent. Dinner entrees are here. It is looking amazing. It's a ginger beef medallion. Yes, with some bok choy, carrot. It's looking right. And bread, blitzed potato, mashed potato. Mm. All right. It's time for dessert. Let me get a bite. Oh. I just want to say that this dessert, well, one of them that I tried, the apple rice pudding with the ice cream. Shell. Oh. Amazing. From that creme. Yeah, I tried it. It is it is really excellent. Magger. Magger, yeah. If you that, like rice pudding, there are little apples in it, like a little crumble on top. Yeah, yeah. It's good, and with the ice cream, That's it sets it off. With ice cream. Yeah. Mm, really yeah. good. That's a great dessert. Try the other one. You have to, in order to try the other one, you have to stop eating that one. You have to stop. You have to. You have. You have to stop eating it. You have to. You have to stop eating it. This ain't gonna. This ain't gonna compare. Chocolate walnut cake, mousse cake. I know. In, I'm giving mousse. I know it's from with walnuts. No wonder he asked me, do you like chocolate? It's chocolate tea. Oh, very chocolatey? But I almost want to flip it upside down and just eat this part. And it's time for a drop off. 
right? Are you ready to go to kids' camp? Yes. Yes, well, ready or not, you're going. All right, guys. So we are in Skyline Lounge. This is the adult area on this ship. So there's a couple of bars in this area. And when you come here, you order on the iPad, which you really need to because you can't see anything. It's very dark, which is cool. So there's no kids. You want it to be nice and quiet. You it's just a left. lot darker in here than what you guys are looking at right now. Like the camera is doing a good job at lighting up the room. Yeah. So, but it's dark. Just know it's pretty dark. It's literally giving turn off the lights in your bedroom yeah. and. And if you're if you're one of those people, um, of a certain age and you can't see well in the dark, you're gonna need your. I don't think you need to be of a certain age. You could be any age. You can't see well. No, but as you get older, seeing the in the eyes dark get becomes much yeah. harder, right? Yeah, eyes get weaker. So you will be suffering in here, but. <laughs> If as long as you there's lights here, but but the, here's the, thing. the menu lights the menu's on an iPad, iPad, so they got you covered, right? right? And what they do is they change the scenery, so it looks like windows, and it changes cities, and you go from city to city, and as you go into cities, when you move the menu around, it's like a 360. So that's very cool. So you see like that, you can go to Athens. The, the bar is called Europa because it's inspired, well, the whole area. This area is inspired by Europe. So these are different cities in Europe. So like you could go to Barcelona and each city has two drinks. So uh, I'm gonna order, I think I'm gonna go with this, which is out of Budapest. And Jasmine is gonna go with uh, something from, Paris. Oh, I ordered the one so, from London. Kids in the kids camp. We're gonna get it in. Kids till, camp closes at well, midnight. So at midnight, we'll be back in the kids camp to pick them up. Um, so now it's adult time. Alright guys, so we just spent a little bit of time in the tube. Not the YouTube, but the tube. Now, okay, alright, well. I will say that it is not it's not it's it's not a carnival cruise. It's not it's not a virgin. The nightclub is a different vibe. There's there's a few empty the there's, there's a few empty seats. But if you feel the vibe within But if you, you if, feel the vibe. Right. But you know what? I love the fact that Disney has an adult nightclub that's open to 12 midnight. Drop your kids off, go to the club, rock out, get some drinks. Right. I mean, clearly Jasmine is in the vibe. It, it, it must be doing something. But it's, it's, it's just not, it's not, you know, it's not that turned up, but she's, she's pretty turned up. So I, it, I, I guess I have to say it's not that bad. Yo, you're going, you're going mad hard. You, you going, you going pretty hard. You going pretty hard. <laughs> okay, it's a dance off. It's a dance off. It's a dance off. It's officially dance off. <laughs> oh, you lose it. Go ahead, get to it, get to it, get to it. He get it. He get it. Okay, okay. Okay. He get it. He get it. He and he's only getting warmed up. I'm only warming up. You know what I mean? Right. <laughs> He was ready. 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 Say Lucia in the house. That's what it is. Yes, yes, yes. Trini. Trini. You already know. All right, just got the kids from the kids' camp. And since you like to ask the question, let me beg a question. What's it given? Good. It's giving good? Yeah. That's it? Yeah, it's giving great. It's giving great. I'll try something. Okay. There's a lot of... Royce is an artiste, honey. Now, Royce is on point. Yo, Nemo. Daisy. Daisy. Min it's the Minnie Mouse for me. Minnie. Wait, you drew all this? Yes. Yo. Well, she said she traced it. Yo, don't, don't get out I of here. I mean, she did. You said you traced it, right? But the tracing is excellent because I can't even trace this Yo, good. Yo, you, you couldn't even trace I your own... I can trace something. 
I'm you can even trace your own name. You're absolutely right. So, Royce. That's something I'm embarrassed about. Why'd you have to you tell me? You held it down. You held it down. I traced him too, but it wasn't that good. But... Clearly, because you take after your mother. No. Let's go. No, Let's go. I'm trying. I'm... Yeah, I'm so is your mother. She's been trying for 34 years or however old you are. 33, 34. That's all right. We win some, we lose some. Yeah, you lost a lot in the tracing department. <laughs> Forever hopeful that she is. We are in Animator's Palette today for the very, very first breakfast with Woody and his friend. It's going to be an experience, and this is the very, very first time Woody and his friends will be joining us for breakfast. This is going to be really cool. We're looking forward to it. <laughs> here with our head server. Look at that. He's a cowboy. Very nice. I love it. All right. What do you think about the menu? Oh, I think it has some good selections. I like the names of the, the different menu. I mean, different menu options right. have Toy Story inspired, inspired names. names. Yeah. yeah. It's all about Woody and his friends. So no, it's, you're not going to see Buzz Lightyear or a sort of potato head or anything yeah. like that or Slinky Dog or anything like that. It's all about Woody and friends. So the characters that you see here is Jesse, Woody, and Bullseye. Yeah. And then he has his friends singing along some wonderful songs. Very cowboy theme. The yeah. The workers have on very nice outfits, western cowboy, theme. yeah, west, yeah, western theme. So that's for right. all the people like me who like to dress their family with themes for everything, don't dress up as Buzz, Buzz Lightyear. Yeah, but get your stuff like just like Woody, Jesse, all that jazz. So I'm glad I got the girls in Jesse and Woody outfits, so they look super cute. Um, and then it's going to be more time. Save the Buzz stuff for later on in the cruise. Yes. So back to the menu. So, um, for the kids, they have Sheriff's Woody Delight, Jesse's Get Up and Go. They do have gluten-free options for the kids. And it's identified on the menu. Mm -hmm. so. And they also have uh, gluten-free types of appetizers to start with as well. And they also have, oh, they do have plant-based hot And dairy-free options. Yes. And it's identified again scrambled, on there. They have plant-based scrambled eggs, sausage patties, pancake, hash brown, and grilled tomatoes. So you can still eat good. You know, if you're a vegan, if that's what you, you know, that's what you eat. They also have that's your dietary great preference. fruits. They have lots of fruits and things for you to choose from. Lots of sides. It's a nice, plentiful breakfast menu to yeah. choose from. Now, so, in terms of cost, you don't pay for this. No. You reserve it. Yeah. You're only allowed to reserve it one time for your cruise. So this is a seven-day sailing right now. The Fantasy is doing seven-night sailings. So you can reserve it one time. You have to reserve it for each person in your room or your cabin in order to be here. So maybe it, everyone's not coming, but you can't show up with an extra person. Right. When you make the reservation, make it for everyone in your party. So just be really clear. You don't want to mess that up because you may not get another opportunity to come back. Right. So go enjoy your breakfast. You more than likely going to eat breakfast anyway, right? So you might as well enjoy it with the show. With an experience. Right. It's dinner theater, darling. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, breakfast theater, darling. Yes. This is nice. This, this is really nice. It is nice. nice. And I love the actual pictures on the menu. Yeah. These are nice quality menus. So cute. Oh, come on, Woody. You got a friend in the Yeah. 
Songs. They got a cowboy with a guitar, mm -hmm. another girl that comes around, they sing, sing. they dance, yes. the characters come out. Yes. It was nice. It was nice. It was a very nice breakfast experience. For this to be breakfast, I thought it was a very nice. And for it to be included in your cruise fare, I, like that I a also lot. thought that this was definitely worth you getting up out your bed and experiencing. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed Make the it. reservation. The, the kids will be very happy. Very catchy. The kids will be very happy to see Woody. But uh, Bullseye and uh, How funny Jessie. is Bullseye? Oh my gosh. That was my first time ever seeing Bullseye. And seeing Bullseye in, you know, just all... Yeah, I've never seen a Bullseye character. Yeah, I've yeah. never seen a Bullseye character before. So he looks amazing. He even has reins. And a <laughs> yeah, very cool. Yes. So... I enjoyed it. So make sure you guys, if you come on a big star cruise, you get about your bed and you reserve. Make sure you reserve before you get on the ship, of course, and, and enjoy it. Did you have a good time, Royce? Yes, is what she said, very softly. We mm -hmm. enjoyed it, and so now we're gonna move on with our day. Tonight on Disney Fantasy is Elegant Night. So we are in our elegant attire, and we are going with a Princess Tiana inspired theme. Because yes. we are on Disney after all. <laughs> so that, no, no. Tiana is that girl. Right. <laughs> so we're uh, we're doing a little Prince T Princess Tiana, a little Prince Naveen look here. Yes. And the girls are Girl, I'll show your dresses. Not there. 
I guess we might as well hit you with a little fashion show as we wait on this line. We're gonna start off with the rain. Oh, no, where'd she go? Wait, what? Royce. We're gonna start off with Royce. Well, see, she got the little crown, very elegant, very nice. Rain, rocking the same thing. Look at fresh rain. Very beautiful. Very Disney princess. Tiana. Thank Never you. looks so good. Thank you very much. It's the sage green for me. Get oh, the shoes, get man. the shoes. Okay. Thank you very much. Wow. I would love get to see what it looks time. like. We would love to see you all around, you know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, man. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> well, I gotta take you out. Sure do. Yeah. Okay. We should have a fancy dinner tonight. What do you say? Sounds good to me. What, uh, what about um, what about we step it up a notch and put the kids in a kids camp? What do you say? Sounds great to me. Huh? You want me to Thank you. To stop petting you. We want you to go to kids camp. That's what we want. You want me to miss the fancy party? Don't you? What fancy there party? Is no fancy party, right? There is. There is. <laughs> there is. <laughs> so guys, we're waiting online. We're gonna take some pictures. And I didn't show, let me show you oh. that to toe. How, how we gonna do a fashion mini show and you ain't show your whole look. Cognac shoes, he's got the nice sage green, okay? I'm loving that. Mint green looks, mint green tie with the green um, flower flower lapel pin. Very handsome, very debonair, very Naveen. I mean, are we not serving Tiana in a vein or what? <laughs>
All right, guys. So we have made a drop off at the kids' camp. So here we are at Palo. So we are feeling good. Should check it out the menu. It's super nice in here. Very elegant. Oh man, this is nice. So we're gonna see what this menu is looking like. Um, check out the menu. You tell me what looks good to you. What doesn't look good to you? Have you been here before? What have you ordered? What's excellent? This is our first time in the regular Palo for dinner. We've done Palo Steakhouse on the Disney Wish, so the menu is similar and different at the same time. Oh, we love a bread basket. With some Ooh. freshly baked pizza dough, drizzled with basil and garlic oil, together with this, we have some Parmesan cheese lavash bread, flat one, or Italian cheese bread. It's like a mm. cheeseless pizza. Sir? A cheeseless pizza. Like a yes, cheeseless pizza. Yes. <laughs> the most important thing is homemade. It's just freshly baked. Oh, okay. What, what part of the Dominican Republic are you from? I'm from La Romana, like half an hour from Punta Cana. Okay. okay. We've been to Punta Cana. We just came from Amber Cold. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Puerto Plata. Yeah, yeah Puerto Plata. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah we, we had a cruising lot, so. over there. Yeah, cruising okay. over there. Yeah. We had like a beach party there in July. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. And our buffalo mozzarella caprese salad. For the mozzarella, we recommend our H1 Manage Booster. So it's a little bit sweet and thick. It goes pretty well with the salad. And also, even for the cheeses. Or you can have just a little bit on the side. We use for the bread or the cheeses. Here we have some bresaula, which is cured and dried beef. Then we have our prosciutto ham. Mm -hmm. The next one is sopressata mm -hmm. or Italian salami. The one in the corner is another kind of ham. It's called copa. And they add a little bit of black pepper. Mm -hmm. Here we have our parmigiano reggiano, which is 18 months. The one in the middle is cachota al tartufo or truffle cheese. And the one in the corner is called pecorino toscano, which is a sheep's milk. It looks like parmesan cheese, but it's a little bit salty. Okay. Here we have some grilled and marinated in balsamic vinegar uh, vegetables. We have some fennel, eggplant, and skin. Last but not the least are cherry nola olives marinated with garlic and some dried tomato. Wow. I mean, that looks amazing. Thank yeah, yeah. you. All right, guys. So we have a caprice salad here, and we have the antipasta, which is different types of meats, cheeses, grilled vegetables, olives, and all that jazz, darling. A charcuterie board, shall we say? Right. Oh, <laughs> it looks man. great, and I can't wait. We love. We had that on a wish, and we—I right. could tell you, yo, the dried beef one. <laughs> was amazing. amazing amazing i already know this is bomb i love me a meat and cheese yeah we're all about the wine and cheese all about the wine and cheese and so should you but this that's the good life right there man nice and plentiful too like mm -hmm. this will you may look at it and be like that's not a lot this is a lot for it's shareable it's very shareable. like for Definitely. like four people Definitely. Remember, but these appetizer, guys. You two people keep space for the dinner. Right. And then you also get this bread basket, which is like a pizza dough, okay, <coughs> the lavish bread, and the breadsticks. This is a lot. It is. Absolutely. Oh man. Let's let's go in. The dinner is served. Okay guys, so I went with the um, scallops and the risotto. It's giving like you know Hell's Kitchen and everything. The scallops, get the scallops. That's what this is giving. Oh, and the, the risotto, the scallops. It's giving class. It's giving sauteed spinach, new crumbled potatoes. Look how it's so elegantly stacked. Along with a porterhouse steak for Richard. I mean, look how they put the tomatoes on top. So elegant. So it's the elegance for me. Well, here we have our own version of a limoncello. It's a combination of apple brandy with some lemon sorbet and prosecco, the Italian sparkling wine, mm -hmm. blended together. It helps you to cleanse the palate, to digest, and that's the way we say grazie. Thank you for coming and joining us in Palo. Well, grazie! Oh, well, grazie. Even though it's served in a fancy Murano glass shot, don't take it as a shot because it's frozen. Oh, you may get a oh we were about to throw it back. If you didn't it's say that, you, you had about two <laughs> more seconds before we... <laughs> we were literally going, yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Wow, that tastes really good. That's nice. It's time for some cocktails. Palo was, it was great. The service is perfect. Everything was good. It was amazing. Oh man, 
Adult area get some drinks. There's some live music. Listen to that guy playing. He is really good. That's live music, and he's excellent. This guy is so good. Richard thought that it was singing. Yeah, I did. I did. I was like, it's a live performance. I had no idea. That's how good he is. Yeah, excellent. Thank you. They did. And mine's too. Look at the sheets. Yeah. Right. Tomorrow's Pixar at sea. It's Pixar day. Did you see how they decorated our room, girls? Yeah. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Wow, wow. Disney. Thank you, Disney. This is amazing. Wow. So dope. I love it. We watched all of these movies. Yes. Oh, man. And this is the night before Pixar at sea. Oh. Girl. Goodbye. And Victoria is rocking her new uniform. Yes, I we like am. it. We like it. I love it. We've got Mike Wasowski. I want. I want to. I want to buy that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say something, say something. Oh, this one. He likes the headband. Code Red, Recon Plan Charlie, Execute! Let's move, 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 move! Hey, Charlie, Charlie. Today is officially Pixar Day at Sea aboard the Disney Fantasy Cruise Ship. Characters are going to be taking over the cruise ship and events all day. So first, let's get started with a baby race. That's right, a baby race. All right, we got turkey, bacon, avocado wrap. Then, of course, we have a wonderful cheese selection of cheese, brie cheese, and of course, provolone cheese. Then, we have favorite ham here, mm. and of course, some uh, more to the sausage. 
and see the beautiful chef. She's smiling. I come after her, she come first. All right. <laughs> Here she is, inching her way towards the seafood. The moment she's been waiting for, it's here guys. She's been waiting for this moment. She has been trying to book a Disney cruise just for this. Look at this. I mean like, unlimited in this life? Yo, let me hold a bowl for you. Pull it up, I got you. Be quiet. <laughs> you know you won't be satisfied with one bowl. Keep it real. Be quiet. People right. can hear me, I understand, but all right, let me hold on to that. I got let me put the camera down, guys. I gotta hold about four bowls of these. No. This is number I, one. Stop okay, get jealous. Oh, it's not full yet. It's not full. Ronald, can I ask you a question? Yes. Do you guys do butter sauce? Oh uh, melted butter we can no, you guys don't have melted butter? We have it. You do? And they have melted butter too, guys. Mm. You just gotta ask. Right. Cold mouth, don't get there. Hey, hey, literally. All right, guys. So while you are on the line, which is pretty long, as a parent, treat yourself to a cold brew or whatever you choose to. So that's what we chose to do. So if you are not familiar, Disney has a beer mug program, right? So you're gonna buy into it for sixty bucks for two. It's Around, paid. yeah. Around it depends 60. on what kind of beer that you get. Right. The, the price of the actual mug is twenty three bucks, right. and then based on the type of beer you get, the prices go up and down. And there's a so gratuity. You um, I got the Kentucky Bourbon Bourbon um, Brew. Okay. Yeah. So we got a good one. It tastes good. Yeah. Kentucky Bourbon Brew. I remember we had it on our last Disney cruise, and I really like the taste of it. It's a nice strong beer nice. so so this one came up to 60 bucks there is the eight secretary added on there now what you do is you could trade this in for a coin or card you hold on to those and you can go give that to the bar and what you'll get is a discount on all your beers if you're a beer drinker it does work out if right. you actually use it it will work out right and then of course you could take this home as a souvenir we have these in the home so what we're gonna do is we're gonna trade this in for the card or the coin and we're gonna fly home with that because it's pretty heavy. So we don't need four of these at home. Right. As as nice as it is. Maybe so if we were driving, we would take it back if home. If we were driving, we would take it home. So yeah. it just depends on the weight. We overpacked, so and by we I mean Jasmine. Overpacked. Really? So I can overpack this time. Our bags were the correct weight. Thank you. You ready to see Sully? Yeah. Oh man, look at him, he's so big. Oh Go ahead, girls. What? And we are at another event. It's time for Toy Story. So we switch outfits. We're back to Toy Story outfits. Where's Jesse? I don't know. Let's find out. All right, it's time to meet the Incredibles. Well, not the whole family, but you know. Frozone and Mr. Incredible. Right. It looks, looks like we got a super duo. Yeah. Yes. We're at. How are you good? Okay. Amazing. 
girl. You like her outfit, and we love that for you. You go, girl. Yes, show off that Pixar outfit, girl. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yes, get the back, get the back. Get the shoes, get the shoes. Yes, honey, get the bow. Mm, I see, you, girl. Pinky, what about you? It's the sneakers for me. And the jacket. All right, up. Uh, uh, okay. Ooh, very cute. You go, boy. Right, Pixar, we see you. We, we see, see you. you. Pixar. Guys, you see the new outfit? It's the new outfit for me. We love new threads. Welcome to Open Mic Night. Good evening. My name is Ricardo, and I am your master of ceremonies for this evening. Or as I like to say, monster of ceremonies. I uh, seem to have locked myself in the green room. The, the green room, Mike. I mean, judge number three. Uh, please welcome our judge number three. It is Mike Wazowski. Oh, is that the menu? Yeah. Very cool. <laughs> it's a it's a Pixar menu tonight, guys. Pixar inspired menu. It's there. It's there. Oh. All right, guys. Tonight we are in the Enchanted Garden. Tonight the menu is Pixar. You see, it's a Pixar menu, especially for this, and it is looking great. The appetizers look great. I see a, I see a bow butt, so I'm definitely interested in that. And for the entree, I see the butter chicken, and I know that's looking real good. The dry rub adobo pork tenderloin with the braised pork belly. Oh man, carved slow roasted rosemary beef tenderloin. Woo. It's, it's some good, it's some good options on here. So, comment below. What would you order on Pixar Day at Sea? In the Enchanted Garden, what you thinking? What do you like? What do you think sounds good to you? I like you guys. We have different butter today. And it's in the bowl. And, and there's like little red thing inside. So that means it's going to be different. Let's see. Hey, <laughs> there. Uh huh. And then. Turkey meatloaf. And two of those. Alright guys, so I have a bao bun. I remember having one of these on the Wish and it was so delicious. So I'm happy to see that it's on the Pixar menu. It comes with a pickled cucumber and peppers with a dipping sauce. She has pickled, she has pickled, she has pickled, hey, 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 hey. I have two pickles, I have two pickles, I have two pickles today. Hey, hey. You didn't even taste it. She can... Ah, yeah. I just need to like eat it. It's a little cold. <laughs> it is. It's not hot. It's not hot. But the flavors are there. Okay, guys. So for my second appetizer, I ordered the baked um, macaroni and cheese with the shrimp. Comes in a nice little ramekin dish. Yes, baked yes, shrimp. Yes, yes. Okay. I'm not into bread crumb on top of macaroni and cheese. All right guys, so tonight we have butter chicken. Me and Jasmine both have the butter chicken separately. And we also ordered the pork tenderloin with pork belly sitting on top of, with some onions, sitting on top of yucca mash. I can tell you the butter chicken smells amazing. A little roti, 
a little naan, chapati. <laughs> it comes with jasmine rice, and you have that to eat it with too. The butter chicken is good, but I personally like my butter chicken to be very, to be sitting in a bunch of sauce. I mean, I want my butter chicken to be swimming. The yuca mash is pretty good. It's hard to differentiate if it's potato or yuca, really. And the pork is perfection. Oh man, that's good. Wow. Both of these are good. So I would recommend you do what we did because the meals are not super huge. These meals, it's not like you ordered a, a 28 ounce steak like last night at Palo. So you can technically, if you can eat a lot, you could probably eat both yourself or you could do what we did, which is to share one of the meals. I would probably recommend you share the butter chicken and get your own pork tenderloin because that's the better of the two meals. I am super glad that you are here to help celebrate our heroes of honor, the most renowned heroes in all of Municipalburg. Now, who's ready to celebrate? Then let's do this. Super Squad, commence in Five, four, three, two, one! Live from the deck of the Disney Fantasy, Deck Tech invites you to celebrate the Supers! Hello, hello everyone! You're all too kind! No, really, thanks for having me. It was our pleasure. <laughs> Isn't it incredible? Stay super, everyone! All right, just getting off, setting foot on the pier in Tortula. And we are on our way to our excursion. So when you do these excursions, they give you a sticker. Well, you, she used to have a sticker. I used to have a sticker. sticker. The sticker looks look. like that. Sticker, and that's just the group. Group number one. Alright guys, so we are just arriving in Virgin Gorda. This is the third largest island in the British Virgin Islands. So we're pulling up in Spanish Town now. And we are now gonna get on our next means of transportation. Open air bus. Open air bus. So it's exactly a 10 minute ride on the bus and then you end up here at the Bass. So this is the Bass National Park. So when you're walking, please try not to drag your feet. You may stump on a, a stone and it's gonna hurt, all right? This trail is full of cactus. So if you slip, try not to hold on to something. It just might be a cacti, all right? There's two pieces that we're gonna be stopping at. One is called Devil's Bay, and the other one is called the Bats. I'm gonna give you guys at least 45 to 50 minutes on each side. I'm gonna give you guys at least 45 to 50 minutes on each side. 45 to 50 minutes on each side. It was all a lie. Guys, it was all a lie. It's gonna take approximately seven minutes to get down and about nine minutes to get up, nine to 10 minutes to get back. Why, Why you always lying? All right. I normally play a game named Marco Polo so I can find you guys wherever you are. Okay? When I say Marco, you say Polo. Marco! Polo! All right. I repeat, we gotta be back up here at least by 
Wow, we made it guys. All right guys, so we have made it to Devil's Bay. Look at how beautiful. Oh man, that's nice. This is really nice, wow. A few moments later. All right, and apparently we have to leave. We were originally told by the tour guide that we'd be here for 45 minutes. We were here not even five minutes, and he's like, oh. Walk over to the other side of the beach. Right, I mean, he also said we would be down here in seven minutes, and it took about 20. Yeah, it definitely took 20 minutes to walk down here. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have mobility issues, you've broken an ankle, a leg, a hip, or anything, I would not recommend this tour. It's a lot to get down here. Yeah. It's a lot. The kids are doing pretty well, young kids. There's yeah. kids like two years old and they're still doing pretty good. Mm -hmm. So that's good to know for the parents, but, right, but if you I'm still not sure. Issues, this tour is not for you. Right. Because it is not smooth sailing to get down here. It is yeah, a true a, adventure. It's a good little hike. And you need like some terrain, water, shoes. Right. Or you, you have to have straight up sneakers. Right. Some sandals with a back on it. Right. Something. Hiking sandals. Right. Exactly. Get you down here. Right. And uh, yeah, so our 45 minutes is over in five, I guess. <laughs> five seconds. No. People were literally still taking their stuff off. And getting ready to get in the water, and he's like, Okay, guys, it's time to go to the next spot. We're like, What? We're going through the caves now, ladies and gentlemen. The bats. The bats. The bats. <laughs> oh, wait. There's le legit ladders in the rocks. All right. This is really pretty. I will. I will. Yeah. He's definitely not a tour of this man. Are you in No. Oh, 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 oh. Ready? <laughs> new year, new me. Right already done my way. No. Ooh, baby. Yeah, no, thank you. Water shot for you. Yeah, hold on to the rope. Good. Oh, please tell me that's it. Oh, yeah, that's it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yes! That was the greatest part of the entire time I was like, oh. Well. Well is right. Let's just say the descriptions from the tour guide. They make it seem so simple. He like, yeah, the second tra uh, track was going to be nine minutes. It was a good 25 minutes. It took us forever. It was a lot of climbing. Have you down, seen in the video? Going through the water. Climbing and scaling and bedding your head and scraping your neck. Y'all laying in your bed right now watching this. 
I'm sitting on your couch. No, but the bad part is, no, it looks nice on video. <laughs> but if you were here doing it, it's, uh, it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot. So kind and of. God bless the ones that got small, small kids, but even smaller yeah. than us that trek through this. Yes. Because it was a lot. One of the guys with us, Nephi, he is he is the real MVP. Yes. He did the whole thing with a baby in, in his, his arms. Uh, 14 month old. He is the real MVP. dad of, of the year. The year. Okay. Crown that man. Because <laughs> he held it down. It was it was a lot. It was adventurous, kinda cool, kinda not. It depends on what you're into. Right. We are typically sites, not right. that tight. But I can say we did it. The sights is very pretty. Yeah. I, I am happy in the end that we did it because right. we got to see all that. We could say we've been. It's yeah. very cool. It's extremely different from the rest of the Caribbean. I've right. never seen. I am from the Caribbean. And we've traveled to a, almost every I island like in the we're Caribbean. In Europe right now. Yeah. And this is nah, this is giving me off the coast of Africa vibes. Right. And okay. this is extremely that. different. I was gonna say somewhere in Greece, like when I watched on TV, like I can see that they have those mountain things. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I can see that too. But it's extremely different from the Caribbean. It is a really unique um, area for with the rock formations all over. The rocks are even on the hills. Mm -hmm. The hills are full of these huge rocks. It's right. it's different. Okay. The whole scenery, the landscaping is very different. Okay. Going through those rocks is a different experience. And that's all I can say about that, guys. We are going to chill here. We're going to see if we can get... It looks like there's a bar there, so we're going to see if we can get a little drink. A cocktail or two. Or ten. And I don't and know if I should even drink a cocktail, because what if... I think I need to be sober. Sober going back. So they've got some souvenirs out here. And it looks like a bar. Let's see what they got to drink. The pretty one? Yeah. All right, so it's a wrap. We were here for 20 minutes. It's time to go. So now we got to see. Hopefully the trek back is not as extreme <laughs> as the way to get here. Thoughts and prayers, guys. Please send them our way. We'll need them. All right, guys, so the commute time was accurate coming up. It was about seven minutes. minutes. Ten. Ten? She timed it because she's not playing no games no more. So it took ten minutes. It was easy. It was just walking up some steps. A lot of steps. Not bad. The other times were not so on point, but that one it was. So now we do it now backwards. We take it back. Marco! So we'll see you there in Tortula. So we've talked about a couple of the positives, which like we said, it's absolutely beautiful and all that, but we got to get into the main negatives. And the first one is the one that we mentioned, which is the time frames. Like we went down to the first beach and in five minutes we had to leave. Now that's one thing we discussed on the video already. We showed you, right? <laughs> but what we didn't discuss is the fact that once that happened, we were a little bit verbal, especially even rain actually was pretty loud. Like, what happened? It's only been five minutes. You lied. And I think <laughs> the guy heard her. And long story short, he had a little bit of an attitude yeah. towards us for the rest of like the rest of the, the rest of the excursion. Yeah, when we went over to the second beach, I said to Richard, I said, watch when we get over here. He's going to tell us. I said, don't get too comfortable. I said, I guarantee 20 minutes. Exact. It was exactly 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. He said, Marco. And everybody was like, follow. I was like, I told you. And then he looked over at me and said, it sucks, right? I was like, yes, it right, does what suck. What kind of excursion is this? Like, yes, <laughs> it does suck. Like, my kids want to, I didn't even get to, I didn't even go in the water at all. Not yeah. even once. You know, by the time I went and got us, um, we were hot, so I got us some drinks. I got the girls some from Fruit Punch, mm -hmm. came back. I was like, watch him say Marco Polo. And he said Marco. It was over. And it was over. I don't think that this, I think that if you were to do this excursion, um, you would need to do the full day. 
mm-hmm. not the. I don't understand why they even have it offered as a half a day. Um, I don't so that's what we wanted to definitely let you guys know that it is a dope excursion. It is yeah, really beautiful. beautiful. Gorgeous. The British Virgin Islands are absolutely beautiful, especially when you get to Virgin Gorda. Mm-hmm. But it's something you need to experience as a whole day. Yeah. So the way this so excursion was rushed. set up. It was like four hours. If you look at the portion where I looked at my watch, it was already 10 o'clock. It was 9.50. And the guy said in the video, we need to be back up here at 11.45. So how were we going to spend 50 minutes in each beach? We were not going to make that happen. Any- we were not going to make that time frame anyway. Yeah, no way. So the other thing is when we got back to the cruise port, we noticed they were loading up another batch of people for another four-hour excursion. So what we really believe is the cruise the cruise line is partnering with this company, but that company is being a little bit greedy. Yeah. And they're doing two excursions a day instead of doing one, one excursion. excursion a day. And I don't think that they, I don't think that Disney truly knows that this company is really being really greedy. So if Disney, <laughs> I, I think that Disney needs to cut the half day and just make it one full day because it is too rushed. And I also don't recommend this. Even though our small kids went, I don't recommend it for small kids. If your kids are pretty active, I still would say yes. If your kids are active, if your kids are very active, but there were a lot of smaller kids and parents had to carry their kids and you're climbing on the rocks, you're climbing down ladders. If you have any mobility issues, if you're pregnant, I don't recommend that. I think if it was a full day, you could take your time and do it and we could uh, could have enjoyed it a little bit more. We didn't really enjoy it because it was like, we just sat down. Okay, rush. Right. We just sat down. Okay, rush. Yeah, you could take your Come time on, and go through so the there's rocks. nothing relaxing. He felt rush to go over. He's like, "Are you got like when we when we were walking?" And he kept saying, "We're like, running late. We're yeah, running yeah. late." He was like, "Are you the last group?" I was like, "No, there's more people behind us still coming down the ladder." And he's like, "Oh god." I'm like, yeah. "We're not. Everybody here is not we don't do this every day like you. So, we are not used to climbing down all these stairs like this." There is a different way for you to go down the beach. You didn't have to go the way that we showed you guys when we got at the top we realized oh all we had to do was walk down all these steps and we could have been on the second beach and you don't have to do it guided (laughs) you can actually if you can arrange your transportation over there you can do that whole excursion on your own you don't have to do with a tour company yeah i recommend a tour company because they know what to do but i don't recommend that tour company yeah so i just you know with the disney brand i feel like disney out of all the cruise lines they have the most exceptional customer service Mm -hmm. and i don't think that this particular Uh, excursion tour company is a good representation of the disney brand and if i was disney i would say i would go with a different company because it was just everybody's all happy and in a good mood and Mm -hmm. then i don't know if it was just maybe that guy was just having a bad day everybody has a bad day but that particular um excursion it just i I just don't feel like it's fit for disney another negative is when you do a tour when we got onto the open air buses we were driving around, we were driving to the right, bath, right? Yeah. There was never a, hey, welcome to Virgin Gorda. This the is population is so and so. This is the third largest island in the British Virgin. Nothing. Nothing. It was just sit down and enjoy the ride <laughs> sit and look down around. And, right. And we had no clue where they were taking us. Like, we, I would like to a guided tour and tell us what we're looking at. We've never mm-hmm. been here before. And so, and I'm sure many people who have you know, going on excursion, probably never been there before as well. So I think they could do better with that as well. Yeah, so there's a few, it's, it's just, a, it's a lot of improvement. Lots of room for improvement yeah. with that company. Now we did take a cab when we got back to Tortula. We wanted to enjoy a beach day. Those, that yeah. video is coming up right after we finished speaking. And um, <laughs> so we ended up taking a cab and the cab driver went through explaining, hey, Tortula, this is so-and-so. The population yeah. is this. This building was burnt down and it's just being rebuilt. He was giving a tour he's a cab driver that's what it's supposed to be and we were able to we actually did not record a lot but we spent hours hours at at the the beach beach, having a good time eating um enjoying the water we had a really fun time overall i think the day i mean it was an excursion (laughs) i mean they took us on an adventure definitely something different for a rich and jazzy life just smushed in yeah it was just it rushed. Wasn't, yeah. It was just rushed. And I, I don't recommend a four hour. So if you're watching this and you're considerate, go for an eight hour. Don't do the four hour. Cruise ship is straight ahead. You walk all the way down past. There's a whole bunch of restaurants, bars, like mini restaurants, mini huts and bars. You walk all the way. It's a good smell of food. I'll tell you that. And a couple of bars, you walk straight down and then you'll see the signs. It'll take you down to the taxi stand 
where you can catch a taxi to the nearest beach or you can stay here, get something to eat here if that's what you want to do. All right, and that's a wrap for Tortula. You had a good time? I enjoyed the beach. It was a very nice beach. I love that there's many food options. Uh, Even the port had a lot of food options. Yeah. But there's no beach there, you know, so this is thanks, sir. You know, when I do see, when I go on other cruises, and I see Tortola now, I'm not going to feel like, oh, Tortola. Right. I I'm probably would like, come right oh, to the Tortola. beach. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Okay. not bad. Not bad at all. True. It's been a long time since we've been here, so I didn't remember. Right. It's a great, great beach day, in my opinion. All right, guys, and we are back at the cruise port. We made it back. A word of advice: I would be very uh, mindful checking your prices of the cab. Some prices are way more high than others, so uh, be mindful of that. This is a nice cruise port. We had a good day, we were at the beach here with the royal family. So it was a good day, good day. So we are on the bus. It's a nice big coach air conditioned bus. And we're ready to see the old school, new school San Juan. Yeah, I'm ready to see something I haven't seen before in San Juan. I'm sure a lot of information, <laughs> it'll, We'll get some new information here yeah. today, so we're happy for it. You know that we have been on the United States flag for around more than 100 years, but we have been under Spain for more than 400 years. So uh, we are using both languages, and it's mandatory by law that we learn English as a second language. To give you an idea, we are right here. Your ship. Is in here, okay? And the old San Juan is a square. The old San Juan is a medieval city. Was moved from the other side of the bay in 1521 by Juan Ponce de Leon. But later on, we're gonna talk about it, about the, the history. But the most important thing in here is that the old San Juan is a wall city. We used to have a huge wall all around the city of San Juan. So right here, the highest point of the wall, and it's 400 feet high. The building that you see on top are from the 20th century. But originally there was nothing over there. Okay? Because the entire city was inside the city. Inside the wall. So this this park it looks like it was built in collaboration with Carnival Cruise Line. Did you know that? Fun cruise fact. I didn't make it up. It's actually on the thing. It says Carnival. Yeah. You thought I made it up, didn't you? No, I, I had to read the sign, yes. I mean, come did. on now, look. Right, I, that's the first uh -huh. thing I noticed. That is the first thing I noticed. Right. So my thing is, Carnival, why isn't this type of stuff on your ships? Ooh. You guys can have your own seascape. Ooh. Think about it, they can have their own dry area. You gonna let one of the seas do you, you out? You just let these other cruise lines just shut you down. You got there, girls? Ice cream. Rainbow Fashion Food Icy? All right, so we've made another stop at one of the hotels in San Juan. Whee! And there's a beach down here, which we're not gonna go to because we're not prepared to go to the beach on this tour. So we'll still pass by and get a little view. Get a little view. The tour is very um, history-based. 
And to be honest, we're not really big history buffs. And I know some people are gonna think that that we're we're um, really evil because of that, but we're just not huge on history tours in general. Um, right, if it's your thing, it's your thing though. All right, so we are learning a lot about that. We've been to Puerto Rico many times. We've stayed in Puerto Rico for a week um, before. We rented a car and got around Puerto Rico. So we've done a lot of the things around Puerto Rico and not just in the tourist areas. So we're kind of familiar with a lot of the areas and who has what to offer. Like we've actually stayed in that hotel right down there. So we stayed at two different hotels down here. So we are learning some history stuff and that's nice. And it is nice that it's an air conditioned bus so it's on and off, I like that. It's a very low impact, not a very exciting tour. Right. Um, and that's the best way I could describe right. it. If you guys been here, subscribe. Here we are. How do you feel going up those? It's a castillo. Not the, those are not stairs, but the, the uphill tunnel. Did you know at Walt Disney World, the Pirates of the Caribbean ride was inspired by the incline, the entrance to the Castillo here in San Juan. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh. Did you know that? Who would have known? No, no fact. You all the to go the big You mean the, new every day. You mean her? Okay. But I'm giving the people at home oh, like, yeah. facts. All right. They didn't hear what she said. I'm the teacher. Oh, I'm the educator. You're the Capitan now. Got it. Okay, it's a military castle. And I don't say fort, because this is not a fort. There is a few difference between a fort and a castillo. The three main differences are the castillo has soldiers living on it 24 seven. Remember, this is a military, this is not Cinderella. We don't have princes. We had a lot of prince, but no princes. Called a Third floor of the Castillo. Yeah. You made it up here. Soldiers used to come up here yeah, exactly. and do their thing. We've actually never been to this Castillo. Never so, been here. Always see it. We did. Never it's never actually came time. It's something we always had on the list to do. And now that we've seen it, it's pretty cool. Nice little history um, tour. And it's something actually a lot learn. cooler on the inside than you than you might think it is. Because it's really hot out there. Yeah. But there's so much open air breeze from the sea yeah. that it's nice. Very nice to see amazing pictures um, and video opportunity here. I'll tell you that, they're amazing. So it's nice to see if you're in San Juan, this is something you should check out. This is one of the spots you're supposed to always check out. Mm -hmm. So today we've completed our tour for the most part. There's only one more stop where we're planning on getting off and um, doing a little something, getting a little bite to eat. So what do you think overall? Overall, it was, it was okay. I think it's good for a first time in Puerto Rico person. Yeah. Because you really get to learn a lot about Puerto Rico. Right. So. I don't, I, I, I never want to be a person that says I know everything, because I don't. No, we um, don't know everything. I did learn, but there was a lot mm -hmm. that we knew, and there was a lot of places that we've already we've seen. seen and we've already been. Yeah, so, so a little bit of it was repetitive, but right. But if I think it's if it's your first, first time, time, I think this, this tour would be for you. It's a good introduction Definitely. to Puerto Rico. Good introduction, Rico. absolutely. All right, guys, we've made it to one of the best eats in the world. No yes. lie, no lie. This is probably the best restaurant in Puerto Rico. To us, Ooh. we haven't tried everything yet. We've not yeah. tried a lot. We have not tried a lot, but, but this, this is place our favorite. is bomb. It's called the Avadora. We have a vlog on our channel. It's part of our Wonder of the Seas um, crew series. So go and check that out. But this right here. They got some good food. This right here goes like, on. it make you do that, that happy dance. I hope it lives up to the hype from the last time we had it though. You know it's, how you have something before and you're like, dang, I can't And then the second time is not that good? Again, oh, like, that would be... It's not as good as I remember. That would be very hurtful yeah, that would be today. Hurtful. After all that walking. It is like up the hill too, so you got to take a little hike to get here, guys. Yeah.
There's no pork today, so this platter is porkless. And we really were looking forward to the pork. So that's kind of out. Now this chicken sausage, it's actually it's actually cold. Not like room temperature. It's actually like cold. Like it was in the freezer, cold. So we told them about it. They brought us another one. But that's a that's a few strikes right there. That's that's a downgrade. So to us. Now I see why. Now we ran into a couple that watch our channel, and they said that this was just okay, and they said that their food was cold, and we were like, Danya, Danya, and Darnell. Yes, wow. we were like, oh man, if food is cold, we were hoping that was a one-off, but now our food is cold. So Dia Vadora, going down the drain, dog. Down the drain. Oh no. How's that? This is my two I'm so excited. I'm to have something else. Damn. So, yeah, that's trash. All right, guys, so we are back on the road. We're gonna head down. I love how there's a CVS right across the street it's from the cruise port, so we're gonna head to that CVS, and we're gonna head back on a cruise ship. Back to the Evadora. I cannot recommend the Evadora to anyone. Anymore. Because it was highly disappointing. My sausage wasn't just cold like room temperature cold, it was like out the freezer cold. It was it was just a huge disappointment overall. Um, extremely basic. Um, it is one o'clock in the afternoon and they don't have pork ready yet. What, you open at like 10 o'clock in the morning. So what did you not know you were opening today? That if you can't be consistent with good food, then we can't recommend it. that you can actually make them half and half as well. So you one, have one style and one another style as well. Uh, my main focus most of the time is gonna be on the lunch section. The reason is you have our best salad dish in the main and the guest favorite, which is our parmesan plus the chicken breast. A bit of creamy sort of very nice tomatoes. Everybody loves it so far. So we are starting with a bread basket with all different types of assortments of breads. And this one interests me the most. As you can see, it has caramelized onions on top. Mm. Mm. Smells good. Tastes as good as it smells? It has goat cheese on it. Mm. I like Definitely that. Cheese. I'll try that then. Better than all right guys, so we started off with both of the antipastas available. So the first one is a seafood based antipasta, which looks crazy good if you're a seafood lover. Yes, yeah, a smoked salmon, they also have the tuna, sashimi, the shrimp cocktail, a jerk crab claw, and a green lipped mussel. Oh, I love a green mussel. They hooked it up. It looks super elegant. Yeah. I could see why a plate of like four of those in portion would be all you need, because it looks great. <laughs> And I'm a big seafood lover, y'all know that. Yes. The meat and cheese plate looks pretty much like the one they have for dinner. It's just probably a smaller version, if not the same. Yeah. So I know this is good for sure. We'll start off with the celery soup, which has some sausage pieces in there. It was delicious. Slamming. I, can't, I don't want to eat everything. I want to leave space, but Yeah, sausage but I almost want delicious. to finish it. I want to tilt the bowl <laughs> and finish it. Break it yeah. up. The pizza is a pizza. The pizza is delicious. Okay, it's technically called a flatbread. But it's a pizza, guys. It has it's, sausage. It's cheese. a full blown personal pie. Full blown personal pie. You can get it half and half of whatever mm -hmm. um, selections they have. Y'all, let me tell you, delicious. I loved it. To me, y'all know I like rating the pizzas. They get number two. They get number two. What you think? Number two at C. Number two or two. The only one that has the beat is MSC. Yes. But excellent. Y'all know. We always rate the pizza. I'm a pizza girl. I'm a New Yorker. Yeah. Pizza is my thing. That pizza was delicious. You gotta get you a reservation at Hallow Brunch. I know what's a fight. I know what's a fight pizza. to get it. But come go to guest services as soon as you get on board and see if you can get a reservation. Very in demand, very hyped, very reviewed, very raved about. The chicken parmesan. Oh, right, to be honest, let's see. It's a gentleman. It's a new one. Yeah. I've never seen that one. Yeah, that was a little <laughs> top of room. Shave it into the bottom. Oh, I don't know, Jasmine. 
I think it's living up to the hype. Can I have to eat it again? But I have to taste it again. Thank you. Now, we're going to tell you that our background is coming from Staten Island and eating chicken parmesan all the time. It's a very good chicken parmesan. This is a good one. It's a very delicious. It's a really good one. The cheese, the sauce. The I've never had chicken parmesan with risotto. That gives the class, though. I think they've nailed it. It's very delicious. Yeah. Let me get another piece, so make sure. <laughs> that's, that's three times already. With the basil. <laughs> yeah, with a little slice of basil there. That, it's, it's very good. That sets it off. Okay, pal. We'll see you. Oh, the veal is delicious. That's very good. I haven't had veal in a very long time. He's taking me back to stand out. Wait, right. What did you say the sample for me? Jump in your mouth. It was jumping in my mouth. <laughs> and that's not terms that I use ever. Alright guys, it's pool time! If you're all ready to have a totally awesome time, raise your fins real high and say, Dude! Dude! <laughs> Look, me too, human dudes. While you're all soaking up some serious vitamin D, I'm coming at you live from the big old blue. Yeah. Raise your fan if you've ever been to the ocean. Yep. Wait, dudes, you're all like totally here right now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it ain't freeze. Chuck, they're all too good at this. Hello. Things up with the next game, the Ring of Fire. Just because we must part does not mean the awesomeness stops here. Keep rocking the boat, my dudes! Mommy and dad is also on vacation. Not only the kids. Okay. Wow. All right. Welcome. Disney. Customer service. You got shrimp. You got shrimp. You got steak. It's the surf and turf for me. Right. You got the surf and turf frame. Enjoy. Wow. Say thank you. Very nice. So, guys, tonight we are in the Enchanted Garden. And we're here for it's dinner time, obviously. Girls got surf and turf. I got a lentil soup here. It's a green lentil soup. It's got some sausage in it. What did you have there? It's a jambalaya rice with shrimp on top. Oh. And then I also have the parchment corn. 
Wow. Man, this lentil soup is slamming. Nice small portion. Delicious. What's the appetizer looking like? This is so delicious. The shrimps was real big. The jambalaya was a nice spice to it. Really delicious. I'll eat another one. That was really good. <laughs> Tonight, we got the New York strip steak. It comes with a potato au gratin and a steamed spinach. All right, guys, so tonight, we put in a request yesterday for the Indian food, and we were only requesting like the little tray that came, we, we've gotten on the, on the Disney Dream. And it was a little like a sampler of the Indian food, but we're like, hey, we had the Indian food before. It was amazing. Do you guys do that here? He didn't bring out a sampler. He brought out family style Indian food, rice. It's tortilla, it's not only roti, but it'll do. A vegetable dish and a chicken. We've already gotten into it. It is so good. Remember, most of these cruise lines have Indian chefs on board. So these guys can cook, cook, cook. I mean, amazing Indian food. So that is what has happened here tonight. So we got steak. A New York strip steak, and we have the Indian food in addition. So, just know you're gonna have to. Someone's gonna have to roll us out of here because everything is everything so, is so, so tasty, tasty, amazing. Okay, all right. Let's see now. what we got. There we go. Oh, he is good. Okay. Now let's see. Pocahontas. Okay. Princess Jasmine. He hooked it up. You hooked yeah, it up. You, hooked it up. <laughs> you nailed it. Yes, you nailed it. Excellent, Edward. Excellent. <laughs> Amazing. He hooked that up with the napkins, guys. I went good. Yes. Yes, I think so. Oh, that's the bow and arrow. Oh, so sweet, Minnie Mouse. You're a dog. Or should I say you're a mouse, honey? Oh, girl. Girls, did you know they had churro Mickey waffles? No. It's a Mickey waffle, but... A churro Mickey waffle. Breakfast in bed. Like, what's Let me tell better you. than you? So this is a major benefit to being on the 10th floor. The buffet is literally upstairs, one flight of stairs. You don't need an elevator. You just walk right up the stairs and grab your breakfast. So we should have been doing that every day, actually. Today's our first day. We missed the boat on that, but we got another day left. It is day seven, and we're getting off in Castaway Key. Yeah, we'll get off the ship Castaway Key, we are here again, ready to explore. I'm excited. I really love this private island. I think it's great, and I can't wait for you guys to see what's in store for us today. Walking here is not, is not terrible, but having this tram here is mighty convenient. So the tram gives you those two, three stops that are here and makes it super easy. If you go into the adult area, you definitely want to take the tram because it's all the way at the end, the adult area. So if you, adults only, just know, just you should definitely help up on the tram. If you're family and you're walking, it's probably not bad to walk it the first time, especially so you can get to see the sight. Time to travel I know so second stop is more of like the family area that they say so the second stop you can get it's a lot of family activities and everything over here so that's why we recommend stopping here oh, wow. all right guys so we are 
right guys so they have a summer freeze stand it's all frozen theme where you can get ices for yourself or your little ones okay they are all non-alcoholic and they have all different kinds like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten, ten different flavors for you to choose from so it ranges between six and eight dollars and you can take the specialty cups that you get on the ship and get it filled so I need the card, Rich, so I can pay. <laughs> so over here is where you can get the, the bike rental. It's $13 so. for an hour of riding your bike. Uh-huh. There's the, a trunk. Yes. Store your stuff. But thanks to Disney Cruises and Park, right. we have the bike rental Shout for today. Shout out to Disney for hosting this trip and hosting yes. this excursion. Daddy? Yes. Mommy, you want? No. No, because how are you going to ride the bike? So let's put that in there. Well, no, you're sitting in the back. You're, you're not riding a bike. We're you're just going to ride and back. come back. You can hold reins. So, so all you're doing is sitting out. We're going to get the bike rental and you can ride the bike down. You'll see the path, all right? So just stay with us so you can see where you ride the bike too. So these are all the bikes they have. They have these that you could put a kid who doesn't ride a bike. Royce is definitely still working on it. So we got a spot for her there. Rain can ride her own bike. And then you've got a few selections in terms of sizes and all. You ready? I'm ready. When was the last time you rode a bike? Mm, like well, a year ago. A year ago. We, we do have bikes, guys. We just don't really use them. So guys, this is actually our airport strip. You can, Hi. they can land a plane here if they need to. This is where Pablo Escobar would land his plane to hide the cocaina. <laughs> they can hear you, Jasmine, your mic is on. They can hear me probably panting. <laughs> Oh, look at us, guys. Look at us. Look at us. Look at us. Look at us. That's the bike path? How are we supposed to go that way? All right, guys. So we biked all the way down to Serenity Bay. This is an area of the island that is reserved for guests that are age 18 and over. They do have the bike rentals over here. There's a bar, they have a whole entire beach. They also have the barbecue area, which starts at 11.30 to two o'clock or 2.30. And you can get, I know they have steaks and stuff here, mm -hmm. like little flat iron steaks, sirloin steaks, shall I say. And as you can see, all the adults are lined up. All right, so the bike, the bike rides were pretty nice. It was really nice. It, it was nice. It was it was much nicer than I thought it would be. Yeah, we thought it would be torture, but it's all flat terrain, so yeah. it's nothing difficult at all. Right. So it was it was nice. It was nice little scenery, nice cool breeze as you're going there. You really don't need more than that hour rental. No. So I think if you do that one hour rental, you're you're pretty much good with that, I would yeah. say. So now it's time to eat, so we are heading to, ooh, it's packed in there. Let me show you guys. Oh man, it's packed. We gotta find a spot. So we are at Cookies 2 Barbecue. Let's see what they got here today at Cookies 2. You online? No, I'm okay. Hello, how are you? Good, good. Thank All right, you. so we got some Thank coleslaw, you. red skin potato salad, grilled sweet corn, corn salad, and a pasta salad. Dogs, the beef brisket sandwich is pretty good. I always get that. They're always out also, so I gotta wait for some of that. The chicken here is pretty good. Is the this, barbecue is spare this yours? ribs. They got some salmon and some corn on the cob, sauerkraut, chili beans. So decent stuff, decent barbecue stuff. And is this pretty good tasting. Then you can top it off with a little chips. And they got some cakes right here and cookies. It is called cookies, so you can expect to get some cookies. 
All right, so after lunch, we're perf perfectly located next to the ice cream. So we get some ice cream. How's that? Okay. So we'll have some ice cream and then it's time to go to the beach. At the beach. So we are at the beach and it's that Royce has already went in the water. She's played for about 15 minutes. So she came up here and now she's having a snack. If you know Royce, there's a pattern here. What's gonna happen next, guys? What's gonna happen next? She's gonna fall asleep. It's nap time. That, my friend, and I is mad what you at call you, girlfriend. Beach goals. You call that beach goals. Live the life, honey. The good life. Hello, Clemson. Thank you very much. Thank you, Clemson. It's the class for me, darling. Right? Wipe off. Wipe off your forehead. Wipe off your chest. Oh, yes. We are walking on the Lido deck, and I just want to show you, on the Disney Fantasy, there's an infinity pool, but it's not just any infinity pool. It's an infinity pool for, like, little, little kids. So like you could put like a three-year-old in here. Swim diapers are not allowed. But listen, I've never seen a cruise ship that lets the kids have, you know, such a great looking, a great looking pool. How cool is that? And look at the views. Amazing. Amazing. Okay. Yeah. All right, guys, what are we getting? What are we getting? What are we getting? Okay, what are we thinking? What are we thinking? What's this? It's a picture frame. We're gonna hang it on the wall. No. Like that. No, it's chocolate. Chocolate? Yeah. Why would we hang chocolate on the wall? It, you're supposed to eat it, duh. That's a terrible idea to hang chocolate on the wall. Wait, 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 wait. I'm not done. What else? I'm a lollipop. Lollipop. This is bigger than your face. No, All right. I'm bigger. What do you got? Rock candy. Break up the few teeth you got left. What else? Popcorn. You heard that? Going to the dentist on Monday. Enjoy. Right, she already signed it. No, I'm asking Oh, okay, okay. All right, go ahead. All right, guys, so it is the last night of the cruise and we are back in the Royal Court. So the Royal Court is always very elegant. Looks great. The menu is looking pretty good tonight. They actually have a braised oxtail soup. So I'm very interested to see how it compares to Lynette's oxtail soup. <laughs> it won't. But I'm sure it'll be pretty good. <laughs> so we're looking forward to it. It's our last night. We're a little bit happy, sad, that kind of thing. We just left the room. We did finish, we put two, three suitcases out there. Um, we went to the show, 
the show uh, was believe believe it was really good we see we saw that show before on the dream on the dream and it was excellent it's an excellent show it's definitely a show you can see over and over again right especially since like someone like the genie is a character that is they add a little lot so they're they're gonna turn it a little bit personal and the genie on this ship right now if you're going on it anytime soon just know he is excellent when you see aladdin when you see this show the genie is you have to go see it you have to go see it these shows they have here on disney it's just it's excellent excellent high quality it's definitely broadway quality i've seen broadway shows that are way worse so it's very high quality way worse. <laughs> no for real for real that, no it, meaning the caliber of the barber show is not as good as the caliber it's, here it's up there right? yes This guy here is the oxtail soup. There is not whole pieces of oxtail in it, Caribbean people. So do not expect that. It's more of an oxtail broth. That's what I would expect here. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we celebrate Mr. Lamson's birthday today. <laughs> At the three, one, two, and three. It's more of a see you later to Wait, Danielle no. with Edwin. Edwin, come and say goodbye. <laughs> Where did he go? So we go. Edwin and Danielle have been working so hard this week for us and so many other tables. I mean, the service top notch, top notch. Thank you so much, Edwin. Yes. Thank you, so Thank you guys. Guys, if you ever go on the Disney Fantasy. Please, if you see Danielle or Edwin, tell them that our Rich and Jazzy Life says hello. They are just amazing, amazing, amazing servers. So kind, so nice, so attentive to everything that you want and need on your ship. Yes. It makes the experience so beautiful. So thank you guys very much. Yes, thank you guys for a great week. All the best for us at the See you in the morning. Yes. Yes. All right. Thank you guys. <laughs> We hope you've enjoyed your cruise and have made some memories that will last